don't, don't, don't call me Superman if you haven't found my crypto. What is going on, YouTube? It is the BK Cops 60 and we've got some good news today. Now, according to a rumor, uh, apparently, I will of course have the link in the description. AMD is planning on releasing quite a beefy APU coming um, as a part of the Bristol Ridge series of APUs and CPUs. Now, Bristol Ridge is essentially an improved version of Carrizo. Carrizo was essentially only on laptops. So we're seeing that Carrizo part based on Excavator finally coming to the PC, to the desktop market. And at least the big thing, the big news about all of this, however, is the fact that this Bristol Ridge APU will allegedly, now I'm not saying it's true, it's still a rumor, but it will allegedly have 1024 stream processors with uh, 16 compute units. Now that would be based on GCN 3.0 or what we would know as 1.2, so that would be Tonga. Now of course, Think about that guys, 1024 stream processors on an APU, that in itself is insane. Now of course, what GPU recently or kind of recently had 1024 stream processors? Well we had the 7850, that was rebranded to the 265 and is now known as the R7370. So essentially, you get a 7850 or 265 or 370 within this APU. Now of course, wait a minute, it doesn't really work like that because look, Remember, AMD and AM4 and these um, these Bristol Ridge APUs are going to be bottlenecked by DDR4. Now, of course, when I say bottleneck by DDR4, I'm referring to memory bandwidth. Now, of course, with dual channel memory band, uh, sorry, not with dual channel memory bandwidth, but with dual channel DDR4, you'll be looking at 50 to 60 gigabytes a second of memory bandwidth. But when you double that to uh, core channel, sorry, DDR4, you'll be looking at you know around 100 to 120, around that range. However. Now, now, I'm not being specific there, but it's within that range. However, with the GDDR5, which the 7850 itself actually had, um, it was looking at at least 153, well, I believe it's around 153 or 180 gigabytes a second of memory bandwidth. And that in itself is a very substantial difference. Now, look, guys, look, for example, the PS4, right? It's the reason, one of the reasons that outperforms the Xbox One so much is the fact that it has GDDR5 RAM versus the Xbox's DDR3. Now, of course, people talk about the Xbox One's SRAM, ESRAM, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it's only 32 megs, doesn't really make much of a difference. And obviously, Sony made the better decision. But look, getting back into this, once again, yes, it will be bottlenecked by DDR4. However, we must also keep in mind that this is based on GCN 3.0 otherwise known as GCN 1.2 or the Tonga architecture, which we see in the 380X, in the previous R9 to Wadey, um, not the, not, do we see it in the Fury X? I believe we see it in the Fury X as well. Yeah, we do. Of course we do, 1.2. Um, we haven't seen GCN 4 yet, that's Polaris. But yeah, you're pretty much getting um, what I would say is a quarter of um, a Fury X in this chip. Now, of course, once again, the whole memory bandwidth thing, but at the same time, we're seeing an improved architecture. So I don't think the fact that the architecture is improved will offset this um, relatively large, substantial loss in memory bandwidth. However, uh, you're still going to be getting a good APU out of this. Regardless of all of that, the bad memory bandwidth and all that, you're still getting a very powerful APU. And if this is legitimate, then this would be a really good kicker um, before we get Zen when it comes out, whenever it comes out. Now, however, we guys, we do need to take into consideration that, you know, why would AMD be doing this? I mean, how far away is Zen? Because they're obviously putting a lot of effort into this if they're really going this far, this ball to the walls. But I don't know, I guess it'd be a great way to launch the AM4 platform. A lot of people are waiting for AM4. AM4 will, of course, uh, feature, you know, these Bristol Ridge APUs. It will include Zen. And all the Zen APUs, the Zen CPUs, and whatnot, and all of a and not all of a sudden, but suddenly, this is starting to become quite a an attractive platform for people to buy from, and maybe people will actually buy this APU if it's powerful enough, and I don't know if it's good. So we're just gonna have to wait and see. Hopefully, it's not a rumor. Uh, when I say hopefully, it's not a rumor. I mean hopefully the rumor is true. And hopefully to just perform as well because we need AMD to do well guys because we don't want Intel and Nvidia to be by themselves because that's just not good shit. So look guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys later. Now of course, when you guys heard me say by themselves, people are going to bring up monopoly laws. I'm not going to get into that for now, but anyway.
See ya later.